Hello, how are you doing? Welcome back to my favourite video of possibly the entire year. Today we're going to be going through some very special dresses, jumpsuits, anything particularly festive, any garment that is particularly festive that is perfect for party season, Christmas, New Year, winter weddings, that kind of vibe, you name it there's something in here. I don't want to keep you too long, I want to jump straight in, but this year's theme is definitely very heavily based on the kind of current two trends that we've got coming up, where it's very like Barbie cool, like all pink everything and all black everything. I am very, very into it. This video is very much inspired by that, but there are some pieces um, that aren't pink or black in this video but that has definitely very much inspired me this year if you want something that is a little bit more on the cooler tone side i will link last year's video for a little bit of inspo it's very much more greens i i believe from memory um so if you want that kind of vibe then definitely go and give that one a watch if you just need a little bit of inspiration also this year i have a mix of higher end and more affordable pieces but also Pieces that are newer, we've got some new in Zara, which I'm really, really excited to share with you, but also some more high-end pieces, but then also some pieces that I've had for years, just to give you a little bit of inspo, and I will link similar items, or items that are brought back year in, year out, which I also love, and I love it when brands do that, because it just allows you to get your hands on things that I've maybe bought in previous years. It's so annoying if I want to feature something, and there's nothing like it around and available at the moment. So there's a real mixture of items in here. One dress I think is even, I got it in 2018. So it's more than four years old now and I still absolutely love it. So I'm a big fan of rewearing every single festive season. So hopefully this video will inspire you to kind of dig into your wardrobe a little bit um, and update items using various different accessories because I'm going to be doing a fair bit of that in this as well. Breathe, Susie, breathe. Um, but yeah, if you need something new, there's also some current season pieces in this video as well. So a little bit of something for everyone. I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's get into it. So we are going to kick this video off with something that that is brand new and I am so excited to try on. I don't know if it's gonna fit. I got it in a size small and I have another dress from this brand in the same size which did fit really well. However, the length on this, if even if it fits like around the waist, it's going to need altering because the leg length is super long. So do bear that in mind when I'm trying this on. Like I am very much aware that this is going to need altering and it probably won't give the best um, idea on the bottom of how this will look uh, because I think there will be a fair amount of material <laughs> going on. However, I've already been doing my research on seamstresses for this dress. It is a little bit more expensive. It's by a brand called Nadine, Nadine Marabi? Nadine Marabi, that's it. And they definitely sit in more of that mid range to kind of, not high, is it high end? I feel like it's kind of like a mid range price point but maybe it is high end now I'm thinking about it. I'm not 100%, somewhere between mid range and high end. Um, this was definitely more on the pricier side of their price points, but the deep, like honestly, it's literally covered, covered in sequins. Like I've never seen anything like it. There's not an inch of like material that doesn't have a sequin on it. It's honestly incredible. Just feeling it, I can tell it's got some structure at the waist. It's got removable straps and the straps are so beautiful. They're like a chain detail, but they also have an adjustable bit. How amazing is that? They really make these so that if you are taller, whether your body is taller or your legs are longer, you know it's going to fit you. This is stunning. It comes with a waist belt as well, but I'm not messing around with that. I don't want the waist belt. I don't have a very long body, so I don't need that kind of like extra addition. It doesn't, it doesn't do my figure any favors. So I always like to ditch a waist belt where possible. Um, literally goes against everything any styling video in the 90s on TV ever said. It's not for me. But yeah, let's get into this. I am so excited, please fit. So this is amazing. It fits like a glove, as per the other dress I have from them. So I'm really, really glad that the sizing is consistent. That's a very good sign. It also, it definitely doesn't need the straps. Like I could take these off and it can hold itself up on its own. It's got boning here and I believe a little bit along the waist, nothing too crazy, but enough to hold it up if you wanted to take the straps away. So I love that. It's just so beautiful. The length is just a little bit, it's a little bit crazy. Let me see if I can, wow. So there's about three, four inches of extra length, even with my highest heels on, which is a little bit mad and it's definitely gonna need altering, but I think it is worth it because this is something that I will pull out 
Christmas after Christmas, if there's ever like Christmas weddings, New Year's, any Christmas party whatsoever, I would dig this out. I love a sequin. It's something that I've learned over the past four years as I always come back to my sequin items this time of year. And especially if the silhouette is good, they're always something I come back to. Like I love the silhouette of my black sequin dress with the shoulder pads. I love that shape on me, so I always come back to it. And this kind of jumpsuit is one that I've learned more recently that I love. I really like a long, more flared out trouser leg, right to the floor with a pair of killer heels. It gives me so much extra leg length. And then I love for the body to be like nice and fitted and to have some boning and some structure. There's another jumpsuit, which um, some of you will have already seen, but I will also show you again later on, which I love so, so much at the moment. And it's a very, very similar style to this, but with non-removable straps. And I just love the look and feel of it. I feel like the cut is really classic. I just feel like it's gonna be a really timeless cut and style in my wardrobe. So this is option number one, and I think it's definitely a high contender for, I have three, Chris, th is it three? Just three, maybe four, three, four Christmas occasions this year. And this is definitely gonna be one of them. I just can't decide which one. Like, do I want this for Christmas day? Do I want this for parties? Do I want this for new year? It's really special, so I feel like it needs to have its moment. But this is definitely in my top three. It's definitely getting worn. Um, I guess just depends on how quickly I can have it altered. Depends on whether I wear it sooner or later. Like, is this going to be a Christmas party in a couple of weeks thing? Or is this going to be a New Year kind of turnaround? So stunning. This next dress has quickly become a very firm favorite of mine in my like party wear wardrobe. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. If you guys have watched me for, well, longer than five minutes, you'll know that I'm obsessed with self-portrait dresses. I bought my first one, I think in 2016, maybe 2015. I'm gonna say 2016. It was pink, so beautiful. The perfect wedding guest dress for like a summer or spring wedding. It's stunning. I'm desperate to have it altered and taken in because I need to wear it again next year. I miss it. I miss it so much. I also have it in burgundy, which is also stunning and amazing for a winter wedding. I'll insert a clip here if I have it. That style of self-portrait dress, if you're looking for a winter wedding guest dress, self-portrait is where it's at. They bring the dress back every year in different colours. I also have it in the mini skirt version in an orange and it is also beautiful, perfect for a summer wedding. I wore that last year, I think. And I have to say, they should make this dress in a burgundy too, so that it could be very much winter wedding appropriate because it is stunning. For me, this is just generally more of a party dress. However, if you are going to a winter wedding that will allow black, I would 100% wear this because it is stunning. And like I said, has very quickly become a key player in my event wear wardrobe. Bear in mind, this is meant to be more of a midi dress or just like general full length. For me, it just about skims the floor. It's like perfect floor length for me with my highest heels on. So if you're 5'2", you're gonna need some very high heels. If you're under 5'2", I would avoid altogether because I don't even know how you would start taking this up. Whether if you are taller or just taller than me, you're gonna be good to go with this one. Because of the gorgeous sparkly details on it, I've gone for all silver jewelry and these really glitzy silver earrings. I would highly recommend investing in earrings like this. I know I say investing, these are so cheap. Just get a good pair of like really glitzy earrings that you love because honestly, I bring them out every year at Christmas. I very rarely buy more glitzy earrings because I've just always got this one perfect pair. It's probably one of the best things you can pop into your like event wear wardrobe because I can throw them on with a suit and I just know it's going to take that suit from being like your average black suit to being like full festive vibes in just one accessory so if you're really just like not looking to buy a whole outfit but you want a really quick way to dress even just a jumper up these earrings are where it's at like any earring like this I will try and find some similar and link them for you guys. Um, so yeah, those are the earrings that I've gone with. There's a brand called Aurelia. They also do really gorgeous little silver, I say little, they're not little, they're huge, um, like glittery silver bows, like glittery, like diamante silver bows, they're stunning. Um, and they would also work really beautifully with this dress. In terms of bag, you could go for the glitzy silver bag, which I think would be so stunning. I quite like this black velvet YSL clutch just to add a little bit of like 
depth to the outfit and I'm also wearing a pair of black suede shoes from YSL and um, so these match really really nicely together but this is like super fun so it depends on what kind of vibe you want to go for I personally just love this one because it kind of goes with the shoes and they complement each other really nicely um, I will link similar shoes to this they're an old pair you can still buy them but for some reason they are absolutely extortionate now and they weren't when I bought them they were absolutely nowhere near this price when I bought them and now I feel very guilty about the way in which I wear these because I've been like doing the cha-cha slide in these and dancing on tables in Ibiza in these and let me tell you when I linked them for a video the other week I almost died because I did not pay that much for them and they are worth a lot of money now which scares me but um they do do some more affordable versions of these that just look ever so slightly different but they are literally the most comfortable but also highest shoe I have like they're a real oxymoron in that way, like how can those two things exist? They're amazing, I love them so much. Um, and they really do help with a lot of my outfits in my kind of new year, Christmas wardrobe because a lot of the trousers come and they're very long and I pop them on with these shoes and the length is fine. They save me a lot of time taking things up myself or having things altered. This is probably one of my go-to outfits. This is either gonna be a new year, Christmas day, or one of my various party dresses for the season without a doubt. I love it even more than I did when I first got it. And I don't really understand how that's possible because I loved it so much, but it grows on me every time I put it on. I just feel absolutely fantastic in it. It's absolutely stunning. I would highly recommend if you want to spend a little bit more on a Christmas new year outfit, but one that will really carry you through over many different occasions, any kind of smarter, more glitzy occasion where you want to dress up, I can't recommend this enough. This is a very big contender for my Christmas slash New Year's slash, I can't decide like what the most important occasion is this festive season for me. I don't know. I don't know what the top spot is, but key player. Next up, we're gonna try one of the new Zara festive dresses for this season. I am super excited to try this one on. I love a bit of black velvet and a little bit of tulle. Oh, sets my soul on fire. Damn, I did not plan on keeping this, but I love it. I really hope it's still available for you guys by the time this video goes live because, oh, this dress. Oh my God, this is where things start getting a little bit chaotic because I get really excited about an item of clothing. Um, I have so many different ways in which I would like to style this up. This is, this is incredible and very affordable. I love it. I would say if you are between sizes, definitely go the size up. I got a size small, it fits perfectly, but you do have to shimmy your way into it a little bit. So I'm really glad that I didn't get the extra small because I feel like some elastic would have been snapping when it went over my butt, you know? But yeah, I love it. I want to see this with tights. I want to see this with gloves. I don't even know, like, I don't know where I want to start. I want to see it with these shoes. I want to see it with these shoes. I think this would be so fun, like real grungy vibes. Love that. I want to see it with, I want to see it with the gloves. I want to see it with tights and these little, uh, let me, these little wise up shoes. Where do I start? Okay. I love these shoes. These shoes are great. They're another little affordable pair that I have and I am just, absolutely obsessed with them they're so cool but they also are a slightly lower heel than most of my heels as well so they are so comfortable and i just love the vibe they add to this outfit i think it's so cool also please excuse by the way i know i'm talking a million miles an hour i have a meeting in about 45 minutes i don't have time to be doing several different accessory and outfit swaps with every single dress but here i am yeah please excuse the fact that i haven't played tanned in a month now i have been very busy and yeah my skin is probably looking slightly questionable but here i am wearing all black outfits that are probably really washing me out but here we are i love these shoes these shoes are such a great little zara find i'm obsessed with them hopefully they're still available i think they work really nicely with this dress if you want that kind of more grungy vibe versus like the glam vibe. Some of you are gonna hate this way of styling and that is okay, the gloves are out. They're a relatively new trend and I know lots of you hate when I generally try like a trend for the first time. So I am fully prepared for people to rip me for this, but I think this looks so, so good. This isn't my first rodeo wearing a glove either. I wore a single one the other week at the Victor and Rolf uh, party. If you haven't seen my vlog, Go and watch it. It was so much fun, had the best time. But anyway, this is the look with gloves. 
and with tights. Oh, sorry. If you've been watching me for a long time, you'll know I have quite a general aversion to tights. We're not friends, they annoy me. They're annoying me right now just to have them on. However, I think they are making somewhat of a comeback, if you could call it that, because did they ever go out? But in a very big way. Like I'm slightly scared that we're gonna start seeing them more as solo wear. And we've been there, we did that in like 2006 or 2007, guys, we don't need to go back to it. Someone please tell Kendall Jenner, we don't need to go back to it. She doesn't understand that it was traumatic enough the first time around. Um, anyway, I love this look with the tights. I think it looks so cool. I'll show you what it looks like without the gloves in a second, but it kind of just gives that like, fully covered up kind of look, except you've got your shoulders on show. So there's like a little bit of sexiness, but the rest of you is like fully covered up. And I kind of love that. What do you guys think? Let me know. I think this would be really cool with a gold bag personally, just to really switch things up. I could still wear my black clutch and go all full black. And I think that would be so cool. But I do think a little pop of gold, wouldn't go amiss here. You could go for the sparkly bag, but the sparkly bag attaches itself to my gloves and I'm scared of putting a hole in them. But I think the gold bag would be really nice. It just adds a little festive pop. Maybe not with these earrings. I'll swap them out for something big and sparkly and gold. And I'll show you quickly without the glove. That's what it looks like. I really like it with both. I actually don't know which one is my favorite. It's so hard to decide, but what I know I do love is tights with this dress. Big, big fan, big, big fan. I think me and tights may have to like kiss and make up. So this is another one of the Zara dresses and I don't love this one as much. And I knew I wouldn't, I knew I wouldn't, but I actually picked both of them up as backups for the Victor and Rolf party that I previously mentioned with the one glove situation. Like I said, we'll link that video. But these two black dresses from Zara were going to be my backups. I picked them because they had this kind of like exaggerated tall shoulder kind of situation going on because that is very much in line with parts of the Victor and Rolf brand DNA. There's lots of like, it's very whimsical um, and really over the top and exaggerated. And I really wanted my outfit to be in line with that. But outside of that, I also just think they are gorgeous Christmas dresses for the season. But number one, we've got a waist belt, which you guys will know I don't love. I really don't. And I'm gonna show you it without, but I feel like without the waist belt, this kind of doesn't hit in the same way. Like this is, this dress is definitely designed to be at its best with a waist belt at the center of everything. Like all of the detailing kind of points inwards towards it. However, I do think if you like a waist belt, this is definitely one for you. It also has a little bit more room and a little bit more give. So if you aren't sure on sizing, this one is definitely more of a short bet. You could take your regular size in this, like I could size down in this. There's a lot more room with this one and it zips up at the back, whereas the um, other Zara dress, it's literally just like a pull on situation. It also runs a little bit longer as well. So if you are taller, I would say this is the better of the two. It's just not my preferred dress purely from an accessory point of view. Like I said, I would go without the belt, but I just wanted to show you it quickly with the belt and how it's made and with the belt because that's how it was designed. And um, I wanted to show you it with all of the silver accessories because I think my silver bag and silver earrings tie in really well with the waist belt. Um, however, it's just a little bit too flimsy. I don't think it really makes the outfit. I think it actually makes it look a little bit cheaper personally, but that's just my opinion. Uh, I'm just a waist belt hater, so don't take anything I say particularly personally. But yeah, this is it without. Do we agree that it needs something or is it actually fine on its own? I'm so interested to see this when um, I edit. Also, is that, is that light really messing with things? Hang on, sorry. I'm just going to sort myself out. Sorry, the sun comes out for like two seconds and it's completely ruining everything, but it will go dark in two seconds and then I'll have to go back and open the windows because we'll be filming in the dark. This time of year really is just not, not it for this line of work. Anyway, if you could also wear it a little bit more off shoulder if you wanted to. I just find you then lose the sweetheart neckline, which is a bit of a shame, but you could kind of wear it a little bit lower. On the yeah, you just really lose the sweetheart neckline, which I think is, so sad because that's such a pretty um like design feature and i find it just really flatters everybody i do think these two dresses are like stand out 
pieces from this season's like Zara festive offering. So I would definitely look into them if you are looking for a new but more affordable festive dress option. So this next dress is a Nadine Marabi special. I just think this is so, so stunning. I feel like the human version of a flamingo and I love it. It's just the most pretty, fun dress. It's just so, so special. They very kindly gifted this to me and I'm just absolutely obsessed with it. I think it's so fun with like a pop of pink. I've just gone for a light nudie pink shoe with this look just because I feel like the dress is doing enough on its own and especially with the bag, I think a bright pink shoe might be a bit too much and I don't want to go too matchy matchy on this occasion. But yeah, I do think it's so fun. And the only thing I, I actually still have this jewelry in, but I don't think this is a, this is the vibe. I think the dress does enough on its own. It is fun enough on its own. I just think it's such a gorgeous piece, such a good talking point at parties. This is the kind of dress I would actually wear to a party. People are gonna think I'm mad when I say this. This is the kind of dress or outfit that I would wear to a party where I don't know anyone. And there is a reason for that because it is the best talking point. I actually went to a party last year and I wore those sparkly Mac and Mac heels and it was the best thing I could have done because there were a lot of people there that I didn't know. I was feeling quite anxious, but it was the best talking point. And we just all stood around speaking about the shoes and then I made friends and it was great. So I honestly, if you're going to a party where you don't know anyone, yes, it's risky because if there's mean girls there, you might feel a bit like, why did I do this to myself? But um, generally, you might end up making friends. And if you're anything like me, you'll need all the help you can get. Social anxiety is a bummer. Anyway, back to the dress. I've got it in a size small. It fits beautifully. The structure of it is gorgeous. It's actually not like got any boning in it at all, but it just, the fit is just so good. Like you get your size, it arrives, it fits perfectly. But their brand is so true to size and I love that. Even the cut on the chest is beautiful. Not too low, not too high just like enough to be really lovely and flattering. And it's just very simple on the back. It just is the most special dress. They do these in all sorts of different colors as well. So I would highly recommend taking a look at what they have to offer. Their stuff is just so special. Um, there's a gold dress at the moment that I really have my eye on and I'm, I can't wait for it to come back into stock. Hopefully soon. This next dress is one that I bring out year in, year out, and it comes back in stock every year as well, which is something that I love about it. And I know lots of you really love this one as well. This one is great for the taller girlies out there. It actually isn't perfect on me, but I am actually gonna have this one altered this year. Hopefully this year, hopefully I'll get around to it. But I have decided that because of the length of this one, it would be great. Like I always was like, oh, it's a shame it doesn't like have any kind of like tie waist or anything but I think there is definitely a way in which you could create kind of a ruched situation in the middle to just bring it in a little bit um, and then it obviously brings the hemline up as well but it leaves you with a longer back which is something that I love I actually love an asymmetric hem just want the front to be short I don't need my whole dress to be short I don't need my bum out I just literally want a little bit more leg I think it looks very flattering if you are slightly more vertically challenged. That is something that I'm definitely gonna look into having done this year, just to give this a little bit more wear in my wardrobe, because I know that if it was just a little bit shorter and a little bit more flattering on me, I would wear it so much more. So yeah, that's just something I'm thinking about having done, but it is just such a gorgeous dress. I will keep this forever because it's so beautiful. Like it is literally just covered in sequins it's so gorgeous it's so sparkly the detailing on it is gorgeous it's from a brand called needle and thread who do the most incredible dresses they are up there with self-portrait for me in terms of like the quality and the price point is also like very good as well for what you get again i've never been disappointed buy a dress from them and this one just works so beautifully with my silver accessories i've got my mac and mac heels and my little sparkly bag and i just think it's the most perfect little glitzy kind of new year's eve option next up we have another item in my wardrobe which again has fast become a very firm favorite of mine to the point where i would even say it's like a forever piece in my wardrobe i am just honestly obsessed with this house of cb jumpsuit it is so stunning it has so much boning 
around the tummy and under the boob it just gives like the best shape to my body i love it so so much it's really beautifully designed i love that there's a little mesh bit here i just think that that's so fun it makes it a little bit different i love the slightly wider leg it just gives that real long legged feeling which is a real novelty for me and yeah i just think it is so stunning even down to the way that the straps get smaller closer to the chest and then they're very like wide at the top of the shoulder i just think the detailing in it is beautiful it's a zip up back not too low but you don't have to wear a bra with it because it gives a really good amount like i don't know if you can tell but there's a lot of lift going on here very much appreciate that i also think it works so beautifully with this jacket which is a newer one from zara's christmas collection and if you haven't seen the last vlog that i've already mentioned several times so i'm gonna shut up you won't have seen this but it is so gorgeous it's got shoulder pads that really like jut out and i absolutely love that it's got a crop back so you get waist and then butt which i love because quite a lot of the time i like the waist hits at my widest point on my hips and it's just so unflattering um, and that's how i've had to deal with jackets for the majority of my life but not anymore i love it it's like a real tuxedo feel i am just so in love with it and then it comes down longer at the front and has this like scoop shape which actually is perfectly in line with the scoop shape on the jumpsuit it's like they were meant to be worn together i love them so much i wore this out the other weekend and i just felt absolutely incredible i'm also going to wear my jimmy choo gold clutch i've gone for gold earrings as well just to kind of add that nice little detailing to it and again my highest heels because i haven't taken these up and i actually don't plan on it now because i know these heels work perfectly with the jumpsuit they're like the perfect length perfect perfect length. so yeah i love this look so much i really like the fact that i have a jacket that actually works so well with this jumpsuit because i don't like being cold you know i don't love it who likes it if i ever am just not sure on what i want to wear for a night out now it's gonna be this i've got a whole outfit just like ready i love that very rarely happens normally i'm wearing a dress and i'm like oh i'm just gonna have to wear a coat and like very quickly ditch it before anyone sees because the coat does not go with the dress but this is one of those items where it's just like perfect and this jumpsuit is also great like i said because the legs are quite long on it if you're taller you're just not gonna have to wear as high a heel so i really do feel like this is the jumpsuit for everyone and the leg would also take up really nicely and easily from home if you are shorter so you don't have to like spend a fortune on alterations you can literally just use a bit of wonderweb girls okay so if anyone remembers the zara suit saga from last year's or you don't have to remember you can go and watch last year's uh christmas and new year dress outfit thingy video you know what i mean if you watch that you will know there was a whole ordeal where i really wanted to wear a velvet blazer and they just weren't right they were too long too oversized they just weren't right they were really not right this year zara have granted me my perfect velvet suit here we have velvet suit of dreams i could not be happier uh, is the leg a little bit long yes but i just threw this on with the ysl heels that are my hero and they're literally just perfect i've just rolled them up a little bit underneath the jacket and hopefully no one can tell it looks fine uh, but yeah i absolutely love it i'm obsessed with it i'm pretty sure i got it in a size extra small but i will confirm in the info box i'll pop all sizing and everything that you need in the info box yeah i love it so much it's just perfect perfect fit shoulder pads classic black velvet no like crushed velvet no weird button detailing like the button is just a black velvet button it is beyond perfect and the trousers are also gorgeous on their own um if i had them taken up i could wear them alone and just with like a white shirt and i do think that would look incredible as well so i am beyond happy with this suit i do think it would be amazing if you are a taller girly you're gonna love this because the leg length is very very generous a real classic in my wardrobe this will come back out year after year after year i'm pretty sure they also do it in blue now as well and i'm having to not because i now have this new rule where i can't buy things in like the same thing in multiple colors anymore because it's just it's getting out of hand but they do it in like an electric deep velvet blue and it's stunning if anyone remembers the blue top shop suit i had that was like velvet a few years back oh 
I love that. It's giving that and I love it. So um, if you like a bit more colour in your wardrobe or you want a winter wedding option, look no further. It is perfect. This next dress is definitely more on the investment side. It's a forever piece in your wardrobe. It is absolutely stunning. It's by Zimmerman. And I originally purchased this as one of the classic wedding guest dresses that I would have in my events wardrobe. It's a wrap dress, so I feel like it allows for um, body fluctuations over the years. So definitely one of those pieces that will stay in your wardrobe for a long period of time. It's really beautifully made. The color of it is just that perfect wedding guest dress tone. Like it is absolutely stunning. It's like this muted, mauvey, pinky, nudie tone. It's really, really stunning. However, not only does it make a really gorgeous festive dress if you pair it with more sparkly items they have also started making it in various different colors and one of those shades is a really beautiful rust orange which is so so beautiful for this time of year i will link to these in the info box if you're interested i know a lot of you have bought these before on my recommendation because it really is that classic forever piece in your events wardrobe. It's so stunning. I have paired mine with sparkly accessories today. I think it's super pretty with like the little sparkly bag and my Mac and Mac heels. You can really take something that is quite classic and not really giving Christmas and use the accessories to, you know, really bring the festive vibes. So if you have purchased this before on my recommendation for a wedding, dig it out this Christmas and pair it with some silver sparkly accessories because it is just so stunning and always worth wearing more. But equally, the more seasonal tones that they currently do of this are stunning as well. So I could not recommend this enough if you're looking to spend a little more and have like one key piece in your wardrobe. A little PSA on this next dress because this year they have brought it back in burgundy. I really hope it's still on sale by the time this video goes live because I cannot tell you how excited I was about that because I know how many of you absolutely loved this dress when I featured it in my wedding guest dress edit earlier in the year. This is stunning, again, a real forever piece. And I think having it in burgundy this time of year, if you've got a winter wedding, it is the perfect winter wedding guest dress. It's so beautiful. I adore the chain detailing on the straps. I think it just makes it so beautiful and so much more unique than other slip dresses. It is just absolutely stunning. The quality is incredible. It's silk, the creases just fall out when you steam it. It's honestly so, so stunning. And this year it's in the perfect winter wedding guest dress color. And I could not be more happy about that for you guys. I'm not buying it because this one's perfect already. And I'm so happy that I now have my gold Jimmy Choo clutch because I was looking for the perfect bag to wear with this for my next wedding. And this, this is gonna be it. I think the gold works so beautifully because of the gold chain strap. And then I'm just wearing an old pair of June, really simple little heeled mules. So yeah, this would be a lovely one for any festive occasion this season, whether it's, whether it's New Year, Christmas Day, a winter wedding, this dress is just beyond stunning. I love it. Couldn't recommend it more. I'm going to finish on an ode to what is probably my favorite, I'm going to say it, my favorite item that exists in my wardrobe. Like if my entire wardrobe was robbed, this, this is probably the piece that I would be the most heartbroken about. And that's just because it was the best purchase I ever made. It was so affordable and it's re still really beautifully made. It's just from Zara. I got it in 2000 and 18. I have worn it every Christmas since. Um, they don't make them like this anymore. They just don't. It's got these really beautiful shoulder pads. Again, very similar to the tuxedo jacket I tried on. They jut out. They're actually, these are thicker than even the tuxedo jacket. Like they, they are the biggest shoulder pads I've ever seen. It's very like Balmain vibes. It's just the best thing I own. Like the back, which I haven't done up fully. I don't know if you can tell. Um, it's got this gorgeous open back detailing to it it's completely covered across the front it's just so beautiful that high neck with this shoulder detailing is just stunning i love it so so much and it really has been very versatile in my wardrobe i've worn it with like bright pink accessories i have worn it with like over the knee boots i wear it with just like a classic black shoe you could 
also do like tights and an all black shoe with this as well you could do tights and a sparkly shoe if you wanted to go all out your options really are endless with something like this and it really does have such a wow factor like i get complimented on this dress even people that have seen it before are just like wow that's one of the best feelings and one of the best pieces that i could ask for in my wardrobe it is just honestly beyond beautiful i will link to similar items but to be honest maybe some of you will love the similar items because they don't have like the crazy shoulder padding that i love so much i'm aware it's not for everyone not to chat on too much but this is going to be my next way of styling up this dress because we did the over the knee black suede boots but we haven't done blue velvet yet I'm gonna grab my little black velvet bag so we've got those mixtures of like textures what do we think i was actually really excited to wear this look on the jimmy choo trip and then i got gifted the over the knee boots and fell absolutely head over heels for them so this look sadly had to take a back seat but yeah i love it so much that is it for my festive christmas new year's outfit roundup of the year i'm so sad it's over this is my favorite thing to film every single year and I look forward to it so much. I just really enjoy being in my sparkly dresses. It's fine because the festive season is not over yet. I've got a whole month more of wearing gorgeous sparkly dresses. I can't wait. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you don't mind me doing things a little bit differently and incorporating um, in things that I already own from my already existing wardrobe rather than just buying like a whole videos worth of brand new items i really wanted to showcase some new pieces showcase some old pieces that you can still get your hands on and hopefully you still got a lot of inspo from it anyway but also i hope you still enjoyed some of the newer pieces as well that is going to be it for me today i really hope you guys are having the best day and you enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys again very very soon very very soon love you bye